Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, this video is going to be EICR Remedial Works um, or Electrical Safe Inspection, um, as I like to call it. Um, we did the inspection about a month ago. We now come back to do a board change and f do a bit further investigation on some issues that we found and, and fix the faults. So yeah, let's see how it goes. So there's a few bits uh, we have got. I'll zoom you around to the board. So we've got that board to change. Um, there's no RCB protection on there for any socket outlets or anything like that. And the whole point of the CICR was to get this board changed anyway. Um, and the client did have a few problems. I think we had some crackling light switches a bit ago, so it's kind of prompted them to get the electrics looked at, and get everything sorted. So now here we are, um, everything's agreed. Uh, we've got a few faults to sort out first. So today I'm going to be sorting faults out. Tomorrow I'm going to swap the fuse board and everything when everything's sorted. Um, we've got a, a loose earth connection which I think is a big group of cables shoved in a wall under the new kitchen, which I'm hoping to pull out. Uh, we'll have a little look at that later. Um, there's a few bits like metal fittings not earthed, um, as you've probably seen in the last video, and um, they were a class two, so they're a light fitting that doesn't need an earth, but because of how it being terminated, it does need earthing, or it just needs re and that's what I'm gonna try and do, just re it and make it all safe and everything. The tricky one, it all looks original to me, it all looks fine when I've inspected everything. The tricky one will be the sockets to prove it's in it, prove it's a ring for the house. Um, but until I've sorted this earth issue out, then I will know. Um, the old sockets are quite old now, so they are getting a little bit higher reading through the front of them. So I'm going to take a few off, test behind them, check, and make sure that those readings are what they should be. Right, so this is issue one. Um, I've got a loose earth connection. There is a hole here with about seven or eight cables. It looks like maybe something's called up, might be a bit less. We've got just a set of connectors. I do again. I don't know if you can be able to see that, but um, do this. We've got a set of connectors. I don't know what's actually loose, if it is loose there or what. I'm hoping that's it. Don't look like it's been bitten properly on there, it looks like it probably is that. Yeah. Earth ring, happy days. And I'll retest this now and see what we're like. Yeah. 1.28, this is a bit better. Been back around a few sockets, give it all tighten up. Um, <coughs> give this a jiggle here, re -tighten that. It seems like now we are back. <coughs> to where we need to be in terms of the connections and the earth. So now I'm gonna go prove that it's a ring main. Um, fingers crossed it is. Screwed everything back now, proved it's a ring main. Thank goodness it is. Um, so I'm now just gonna somehow fix these connectors in a way go box. You're gonna tie it up, something very special. Um, don't know. Hopefully fix it at the back, just a, just a screw in, into plasterboard. Just, a bit of a goodwill gesture really because of the angle of where it is might be able to screw it down to the floorboard actually I might just do that and then get in with drill just a little bit all right so on to the next we've got uh we've got um uh, insulation resistance fault on lighting circuit so i'm just about to get onto the lighting circuit fault now so i've just disconnected it to my neutral I've still got actually a little bit higher than what it was before, 1.1 mega ohm. So I'm gonna try and disconnect some feeds, disconnect some neutrals, see if I can sort of split circuit up. Um, the first thing I will do though is have another quick look up in the loft and do see if there's any uh, nasty junction boxes up there, sometimes get a bit damp. So I've chased, chased this um, lighting fault down, bit of a nasty one really, it took me good hour and a half to, to trace it down to this, but the cable in this wall was actually damaged. Now, I pulled in a new twin. Once I'd cut out, it didn't actually look damaged to be honest when I pulled it out, but once I pulled it out, cut it all out, the part that was affected, um, 
it's clear by fault, so which is absolutely great. Now, I was getting all sorts of dodgy stuff when I pulled it. Got really bad readings, and readings went all over the place, so kind of shows that the cable was something wrong there. But now we're clear. I'm going to connect this, and that is fault number two, the CICR done. Yeah, CICR job number three, nice and easy. This isn't quite earth right, this top part isn't earthed. Um, so the only earth connection to this top metal bit is the chain. See, the bottom is, but the top isn't, so I'm going to put a new bit of earth in there. Here we are. Gone a bit overkill, that's the old connectors. Uh, both sides, I've actually earthed this top plate because that one very similar, even though it's not really accessible. Issue number four, um, got two of these to do. These um, taped up connectors, I actually taped these up, so I'm just going to put a small junction box on here and just fix it down to the top of the unit. Just to make it safe, so the cables are accessible. So problem number four was this light fit, and it's all metal case but it's actually class 2 double insulated which means it doesn't really need an if you use the right connector blocks and I'm going to get some tools I'm going to whip it down and see what we can do with it to make it safe I'm hoping I can just disconnect it. Oh, it hangs. It hangs. Okay, obviously. So see, it's just this connector and all these singles here and this. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm just wondering if one of my little nice junction boxes will fit inside. Yes. Yes it will. That is the only way I'm going to get this safe, I think. By joining this out. I don't know though, can I get it all in there? Just too much effort. Too much effort. So we're gonna get rid of that. Hopefully, if it's not broken fitting. Put a new piece of cable in there. Jesus. I'm gonna kill myself on this thing. Batteries going as well, they're all bloody going. I think this probably difficult bit somehow get that back on there. Oh. 
Nope. Um, all that go. Maybe back on itself there. Not but more like it, I think. I've no idea. Come on. Absolutely. Horrible fitting. There it is. On that side. I feel like it. What is? Now, that's it now, ready for the board change tomorrow. Here we are, this is day two, um, did all remedial yesterday, so now we're going to give this a um, replacement. I've got an isolator to fit in the meter cupboard, but um, I'm going to try and whip this off and get it switched over as soon as, because I've got to go to doctors. Right, getting there now, got a board mounted, uh, replaced all the meter tails now, uh, we've got a mains isolator in as well, which doesn't look really nice. Um, so, I've had to raise it quite a bit there, just so the lid will open. I'll sort my bonding out. I've actually through crimp that and um, taped it up. And that's now up to here, come with that. So that's the bonding sorted out. Um, now I've just got to put the RCBOs in and connectors. I've had, yeah, it's, it's kind of... Because I've raised it so much, it, has, it is going to ruin my customer's shelving scheme. But there you go, not much we can do. Well, I've got this as well to do. Sort this out, put a new spare in. And a, a new bit of cable, I think, down to, down to the board. So yeah, it's getting there. I'm uh, all connected. Uh, probably the really well. Anyway, that's where we are. So it'll be something like that. I'm going to um, give it a little bit of a knee in the once when I'm done. I've got final bit of testing to do, I've done this spur there for the boiler <coughs> I might put another clip in there um, and yes it's a bomb site as always um, so yeah I am there now um, I'm going to just do some retests some very basic retests because I don't need ICR so some of the stuff I haven't been touched I'm going to do some end of lines and stuff um, and get it done but, but that is it I'm <coughs> I might not do another video but we'll see alright, we'll see you later